Hello everybody, this is Kevin. I just wanted to show a quick little session of what I have going on here. It's a small solar setup. I have a Connext X, I'm sorry, a Connext SW4024 24 volt system. I have the 60150MPPT charge controller by Connextant. Down here we have the control box that allows me to control and program everything to do with the Connect SW. It also allows me to handle the battery monitor, the gateway. Now this is the combo box. This is the first iteration of the internet web browser and I really like it. it gives me all the access to the information that I need for checking the solar array, how much solar I've captured for the day, how many watt hours, amp hours, voltage, temperature. I mean, it, it really lays everything out into a format that is easy for me to read and understand. And it does it in a graph. Now, this is probably not 100% correct. I don't have everything in place like I should and all the safety precautions, but that's what I'm working on to get to. What I have here is two 5.5 kilowatt hour BYD batteries. I bought them online. They came in by freight. Now these things weigh about 200 pounds a piece. Up under here, what I have is 12 lead-acid batteries. Now, I had started out with lead-acid batteries, and it worked great. Uh, my depth of discharge wasn't near what I can do with these, because these are lithium iron phosphate. Um, but the, the, the lead-acid batteries did well for about two years. Um, I don't have any problems with them. Uh, I still may use them with other projects since I have plenty of them. And, you know, I just wanted to sit here and show how I've changed from one lead acid batteries to the lithium iron phosphate batteries and show my little setup that I have going on. Now, this setup doesn't supply electricity to just my shed, which... You know, it's just a small little shed for me to do the little things that I like to do. Uh, but it doesn't allow for me to run the whole house or anything like that. Now, I do supplement some of the power off the house. Uh, all of the current going to the house that is on all the time. My solar system takes care of that, and I don't have to worry about uh, approximately... 60 to 80 dollars a month in electric bill it you know drops my bill pretty significantly now i have several thousand dollars into this system so it doesn't really equalize out yet um i plan on upgrading with the connect sw i can add another unit with the controller for the star uh, with the solar charge controller i can add another unit to that as well um, I plan on sticking with the 24 volt system and I will eventually go over some of the things that I really like about the system. Here's the inside. It comes with a BMS built into it. The BMS covers everything from active cell balancing that I could tell all the way up to high temperature cutout. Did not see low temperature cutout in the diagrams or in the schematics or anywhere in the manual. So I can't promise that. So I'm waiting right now on some stuff to come in the mail. All right. I don't want to keep these videos too long. I'd like to stay around five minutes at a time. Uh, if there's anything that anybody would really like to see or has any questions about, Please hit me up below and I'll answer everything I can. Welcome to my small little workshop. All right, everybody. Have a great day.